And speaking of different, it is time to do something different and look at a different portfolio. Not that of an expert, not that of a newsletter writer, but that of a regular person who invests their own money. <clears throat> so it's time for the regular portfolio segment of the weekly show in which I talk to you, I guess, the viewer of this channel. And uh, this week I spoke to Daniel, who's uh, he's a doctor from Brazil and a passionate investor. And so I'm about to play this clip on here. But if you want to share your portfolio with me and uh, and the viewers of this channel, of course, feel free to send me an email at antonio at resourcetalks.com. And I will sit with you for a brief talk on what you do invest in and uh, and why. Now, um, let's 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 play that clip on here. All right, Daniel. So tell me the most important question. What do doctors in Brazil make a year? OK, uh, it's the, the range is very wide. They have many kind of, of specialties and uh, it depends on how much you want to work. So I, I say we, we got a, a comfort life here, of course. And uh, sometimes we, we speak uh, about reais. Our, our currency is not very appreciated uh, worldwide. So if you compare with US dollars now, we are not in a good time <laughs> of the cyclical of, of the currency. But I would say a, a doctor that's well established that has uh, uh, it's a median of the career and works uh, something like 50, 60 hours a week because we do like shifts and, and that's the, we can take a, a hundred, 120 K dollar US dollars a year. Uh, I would say that's a uh, average of a good uh, doctor position on the market today. Okay. That makes sense. What about yourself? You got, you, you told me that you have four kids. <laughs> You, you, you're in a, you know, you've got your home that I assume you've got your down payment for. How much of your money do you still, are you still able to invest every month? Like what percentage? Uh, so in uh, 20, uh, 2008, I started my first uh, accumulation uh, reserve that I still have today. And we planned six years after that, uh, we got our first children, first of four. So uh, I knew what I was doing, we were doing. We were having a, a huge income, but we are uh, living like students. Nice. And when I started to, to earn money, I knew it's going to make a jump. Mm. And uh, I, talked, I, I, I told to my wife, we are going to have an increase on our income, but we're not going to spend the same thing. We know how to live simple. So we are going to make steps and the big step really, really will be when uh, our children start to, 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 to come. <laughs> sure. mm -hmm. So uh, we prepare the nest, as I, uh, I say. So for six years, I just saved huge amounts of my income, more than 50%. Nice. And it was planned. And uh, I told my wife, oh, uh, now we are going to start having children. And I know that I'm going to spare each time less of our money, but the reserves that we had already uh, uh, stocked is going to grow because one thing I can do very well is to invest. It's uh, it's natural for me. So I can have good uh, performing of my portfolios and it's going to, to grow. It's growing for, for many time now, a uh, long time now, but uh, I know that my saving relative to my income, it's getting uh, shrinking every mm -hmm. year, but it was planned. So I don't depend on continuous saving. Of course I do, but today is less than 10% of my income, but mm -hmm. it was 60% of my income. And when you do uh, the math, if you can uh, have a good amount of money very early in your life, the compounding of the interest is going to make a marvel, uh, marvel return mm -hmm. after some years. So that first stack of money that I just uh, put together and make my portfolio is not working. Mm -hmm. So there was uh, there were years that I made more profit with my investment investments that I, I made with my career as working as a doctor. Last year was like this. This year is, is, is just like this again. And uh, what I see, I have the, my, my current uh, uh, income for my expenses and I have my wealth growing on the other side. And I just don't have to take out of the box, okay? Mm -hmm. 
it's uh, at minimal it's it's there and I don't need it and sometimes I can put a little bit more just to to take a, a little uh, balances in the portfolio and to see making the reserves the emergency reserve something that I, you need very uh, re, uh, near sometimes I make some reserves for a vacation that we are going to do with a family so I'm very like a uh, controlled person with the, nice. the, the part of, of my incomes. So as a doctor, though, do you, do, what do you invest in? Do you invest in, in different sectors? Like are you invested in the medical sector or do you mostly focus on resources? Very smart question. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a portfolio and we have, one of the things that we have in a portfolio is the security of your portfolio. And you can make this with hedging your portfolio and the, the, the most uh, efficient for me uh, in the wise sense of the, you have better results and you are yet secured is to diversify. So let me take again my situation. Suppose that I make half of my profit with my portfolio and half my profit as a doctor as working every day. Uh, if the health sector, uh, sector goes bad, really bad and i have a theory that it's going to go bad everywhere in the world i have my, my reasons to think about it if my money on my work is in the same basket in the same boat that my investment i'm too exposed and i have had a really really serious home bias i was all invested in brazil and again if brazil goes wrong <laughs> anything goes wrong my wealth was out here in Brazil. And my job is here and I have many things here. So uh, three years ago, uh, August 2019, I started my global account. I was studying global investments for a long time, but that was when I said, that's it. I have to open this window and I have to send money for uh, offshore investments. And it was the best thing I do in my, in my investor, uh, investments uh, uh, choices on the last decade i just had to start it be, be, way before that but i'm okay now mm. what do you think about some of the natural resource companies that are they're canadian companies i guess but they've got um brazilian properties like for example um i know off the top of my head valor metals for example they have a uranium project down in brazil how are things among um, you know in the natural resource space down there we say Brazil is not for beginners. It's uh, like we, everybody here say that, says that. Because here in Brazil, we have, to, uh, we have some... It's better than our own countries here in South America now. Uh, the, the, we call it the legal security. When you do a contract, it's going to be there. Okay. But you have many kinds of costs in Brazil that are not easy to, to put an account. So uh, we have many deficiencies here that we see. Uh, infra, infra ink structure, uh, like uh, working force, uh, many things that are, are not very easy. And for getting permits, sometimes uh, it can be like, just like uh, uh, difficult and very take less more than you think. So sometimes you have uh, your strategy, your time limits and going, it's the worst part. You have a license, you have a, a, a two year time frame to get a license and you just wait four years, five years sometimes. Um, so it's a good place because you have lots of natural resources, lots of them. So I think it's better if you take someone that already has a mine taking profit and our costs are uh, lower than other places in the world because our currency is, uh, is, is lower. And is everything working? And you just see it's cheap now, so you can go and buy. For, but for the ones that are going to make the mine, make the projects, uh, initiate a, a production, I will give you a device. Wait a little bit. Uh, wait there for for get hurt first for lose money first the stocks go down and then you go in okay well now it's time for me to ask you the gun to your head scenario and 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 okay that that question sort of goes in in the lines of if there was a gun to your head 
right now and you had to sell all of your stocks and transfer all that money that you would get from selling those stocks into three stocks. I know that would make you very uncomfortable because you just told me that you're more about preserving wealth. But w w what three stocks would you would you put all that money in? Okay. Uh, Global Atomic okay. is my biggest uh, allocation portfolio. Uh, I have it since uh, 2019. And why? Why? <laughs> Global Atomic, why? Because if you look at the last bull market of uranium, you just, uh, everybody talks about pellet, okay? Uh, in the history, it's not the same, but we say it's not alike, but it rhymes. Uh, and it's a developer now, and it's going to be a producer. That's my, my, uh, my bet, okay? It was an explorer, and now it's a stage of a developer, and I think it's going to be a producer. And in your Iranian sector, in its, uh, resources, you have these three categories, uh, three levels. Uh, explorers, most of them are going to break, going to die, and have to bet. And you have the developers that are struggling to get the projects done and raising money and issuing more, more stocks and everything. But the ones that achieve that, they got to the next level. And the valuation of these stocks has to balance the risk of not doing, doing good, of breaking, and the uh, success. So in Explorers, you have a very big asymmetry. If it goes very, very good, you take 20, 50 times your money. Developers, okay, it's a little, be a little uh, uh, less. And when it's a producer, you are really, Expose it to the price of the commodity, for example. You have a torque, okay, but it does go 10 times up, hmm. okay. Global atomic, when I thought it, uh, I studied, it was like a developer wannabe, okay, it was starting, but it was appreciated like uh, exploring it for the resources that they had, for the zinc production they had, the cash flow with the zinc. Everything, if you put on paper, say, okay, it's a cheap explorer one with resources that are going to make a development and it's going to be a producer. So in this cycle, it's the my best horse for the one that's going to achieve like new production that never never produced before and it's going to produce. It's an, a jurisdiction that's very uh, affordable to buy the entire project so it's like uh, in a, a neutral zone. The Chinese can look to it, the, the Russians, uh, French, they have some issues that have limitations there, but they can buy the ore. Uh, Americans, Canadians, they can merge. So it's a very, very good resource. It's going to be in production. They are now, uh, I, I would keep it on my wallet or buy it again because I think they are going to make it. And, uh, all the steps that I, I was expecting, they were there or better. So I'm not disappointed until now with uh, the, 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 this stock. Mm. The next one, uh, Trillium, I just bought it. So it's uh, the one I think is going to run uh, in a sense of the, the global portfolio they have. It's going to have a upside here in short term. Uh, and the other one, uh, just for the sake of <laughs> diversifying, I will keep uh, Verde Agritech. It's uh, a company oh. I have. Uh, yeah, I, I bought it in 2019 too. It's, Interesting. Uh, one, of, one of the first of my portfolio. Uh, it's doing it's doing really really well now. It's a giant today in the portfolio, and I didn't sell it. So if I didn't sell it, okay. And Verge is just growing production and it's just printing money today. The cash flow is uh, really relative to the, the price that I, I bought at the stock. Like the earning per share is now is going to be the all the price that I bought the stock. Okay, so it's once my 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 the return a year, and just uh, uh, and the highs. Okay, my 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 buying price, medium price to the highs. Global Atomic I got like a ten bagger. Now today is not okay. And then it, and Verge Agritech was a 20 bagger in my portfolio. Hmm. 